When strangers are coming, they come to your house, they kill you all and say we're not guilty, not guilty. Я писала цю пісню про мою прабабушку, яка була депортована з Криму в 44-му році. Але коли зараз я співаю ці строки, вони просто надто живі. The 2016 Eurovision Song Contest. Jamala won the otherwise unpolitical competition with 1944, a song about her great-grandmother's deportation from Crimea under Stalin. Her family's tragic story touched millions of viewers across Europe. Overnight, Jamala became a kind of ambassador for Ukraine. At the time, nobody expected that she would have to flee from her own country herself one day. Since February 24th, Russian forces have been bombarding Ukraine. 24-го зранку в 5-й годині чоловік мене прокинув і сказав, що почалась війна, що Росія напала на нас. І я пам'ятаю тільки той момент, що в мене був шок. Я думала, що з собою взяти, що ти можеш взяти в домі, яке все, 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 це, це, воно все належить тобі. Ти збирав це довгі роки, ти не можеш забрати в один рюкзак, помістити своє життя. Suddenly, Jamala was subjected to the same fate as her great-grandmother. She chronicled their hurried flight from Kyiv with their two children on social media. I don't know how it's possible, but they bombed uh, peaceful people. Hundreds of thousands were on the move. The roads were jammed. Her husband did what he could to get her and their two children across the border to Romania. They'd left their things behind, but got out with their lives. Я пам'ятаю, що я просто намагалася щось ставити їм мультики, там грати, співати, давати постійно якісь там снеки, щоб вони щось їли, печиво. Е, ну, тобто нормальної їжі не було. Once across the border, Jamala and the boys had to go on alone. Her husband stayed behind in Ukraine as a volunteer. Her sister Evelina brought Jamala and her children from Romania to her place in Istanbul. But Jamala doesn't feel truly at home, or even settled. She stays in touch with her husband through video calls, always aware that each call could be the last one. Як тільки наступає ніч, і я лягаю спати, я одразу представляю, як він, де він. І дуже важко, і тому мені краще в день, ніж вночі. To raise awareness of conditions in Ukraine, she's currently touring Europe with her song 1944. In early March, she sang it at the Eurovision Song Contest semifinals in Germany. But Jamala will not be representing Ukraine at this year's Eurovision. As things stand, it's uncertain if the Ukrainian contestants will be able to perform. What is certain, this time Eurovision cannot remain unpolitical. Євробачення був зробленим конкурсом для того, щоб з'єднати Європу після Другої світової війни. Ми зустрічаємося з абсолютним нонсенсом, коли країна, сусід приходить і каже, я хочу твоє. І тоді це вже і не конкурс, тоді вже це дійсно майданчик для гучних заяв. In spite of the stress from her own flight from Ukraine, Jamala never tires of spreading the message of peace for Europe and condemnation of the war. Men boyer de yashalmadem.